Tonight, we're learning more about the two young girls from Vermont killed in a crash on I-93 in New Hampshire over the weekend. NBC5's Kristen Ray spoke with family members and members of the community about the support that has poured in since the crash. Yes, the families of the two girls, Kariana Couture, 10 years old, and Kelsey Couture, just seven, say the two were fun, loving, and compassionate. The community echoing those thoughts tonight. Kelsey was my little unicorn. That's what I always called her because she was always so the life of the party. Kelsey May Couture's mom, remembering her little seven-year-old. Her big sister, 10-year-old Kariana Marie Couture, enjoyed being a role model. She was a wonderful girl. She was very shy in so many ways, but she was also very outgoing. She loved to dance as well, and she loved teaching Kelsey how to dance. The sudden death of the girls being felt across the Chittenden County community. Jessica Goki overwhelmed, seeing the impact the girls had on the area, donations pouring in to help cover funeral costs. Amazing. I can't believe how many people have reached out, and it's just so crazy. Al's French fries, just one of the over 400 donations made on GoFundMe. I have uh, probably five family members of the girls that work here, uh, so I knew kind of firsthand it kind of hit close to home. The restaurant felt the urge to donate, that feeling resonating with so many. The family's initial goal of $20,000 has now been surpassed. It's just very sad. It's a tragedy in our community, and I think we all kind of have to come together and help out in those situations, and I think that's what happened in this case. Coming together for your community, the way Jessica will always remember her little one. She just had such a heart of gold, and she would try to help anybody that she could, and she was just such a loving little girl. After funeral costs are taken care of, the families hope to start a foundation to help children enroll in dance classes, a sport their daughters loved so much. I'm live in the newsroom, Kristen Ray, NBC5 News.